students in last class we have seen about how to do the how to compute the dft for a given sequence using the atft algorithm so in this class we are going to see about how to take idft for a given sequence using the atft algorithm here so what are the difference between the uh, dft and the idft is here in case of uh, inverse discrete fourier transform we have to take the conjugate of the tidal factor okay so uh, like the, uh, the procedure all the procedure what we did to compute a dft for uh, using the dat fft is same as the the procedure to do the idft by using the dat fft algorithm the only difference is you have to take the conjugate of the to the factor the remaining uh, things are same okay uh, let me uh, let me see how to compute how to take idft for a given sequence using dat fft algorithm So draw the eight lines. First, draw the eight lines. Uh, the first step is you have to write the sequence in bit reversal order. So, which we seen in the last class itself, that is uh, odd, uh, E1 line and the odd line. X of zero, X of four, X of two, X of six, and e odd lines X of one, X of five, X of three, and X of seven. Then for x of zero, x of zero is seven. X of four, that is one two, that is a zero one two three four. The x of four is one. X of two is minus i. X of six is i. X of one minus zero point seven one seven minus i zero point seven one seven. X of five zero point seven one seven plus i zero point seven one seven. X of three zero point seven one seven minus i zero point seven one seven. And x of seven minus zero point seven one seven plus i zero point seven one seven. So as we discussed in the last uh, class, that is the last video itself, uh, we have three stages to compute this uh, DAT FFT, compute the DFT by using the DAT FFT algorithm. That is the same procedure. The only thing is we have to take the conjugate of the tidal factor. Stage one, we are going to take, uh, we are going to compute the two point DFT. Stage one is the computation of the two point DFT. Here, the tidal factor is uh, W. 0 to the value of this one, the conjugate of this one is also 1. Okay. That is the upper end is an addition, the lower end of the bottom end is an subtraction. So 7 plus 1, 8, 7 minus 1, 6. Addition minus i plus i, 0, and then minus i, minus of minus i, minus 2 i. And similarly for this, adding is 0 and then subtracting value well is minus 1.414 minus i 1.414 and similarly adding to add these two you get 0 and then uh, subtracting 1.414 minus I 1.414. So we have uh, computed the we have completed the stage one. The next one is the stage two. Stage two is an uh, four point DFT. So for four point DFT, the total factor is W0 W04 and W14. For W04 the value is 1 and W14 the value is minus i. You have to take the conjugate of this. Uh, so that is the conjugate of 1 is 1, the conjugate of minus i is plus 1, that's it. So this is the total factor for stage 2. We have to write the total factor in the lower end of the butterfly. This is 1 and this one is i. And similarly here is 1 and this is i. We have to multiply this 0 into 1, 0. 
and then minus 2 i into i, i into i, i square minus 1, minus 1 into minus 2 plus 2 and then 0 into 1, 0 and then multiply by i and again i into i, i square that is minus plus 1.414 plus i 1.414. The remaining thing you have to write as it is. That is 8, 6, 0, minus 1.414, minus i 1.414. So these are the input samples to the stage 2. So these are the inputs to the uh, stage 2. That is 860200. And then for stage 2, so there is a 4 point DFT. That is, uh, we are going to draw the two butterflies, one butterfly in the even line, the another butterfly in the R line. We have to take the alternate lines. So, this is a, uh, the upper end is an addition, and the lower end of the butterfly is a subtraction. So, 8 plus 0, 8, and then 8 minus 0, 8. Or second button that is 10, 6 plus 2, 8, 6 minus 2, 4. And similarly for uh, odd lines, 0 plus 0, this is addition and this is subtraction. 0 plus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0. And then for this line, the addition and then subtraction. So you add this. Is then 0 and then when you subtract this, that is uh, 2.828 and then uh, minus i 2.828. So, this, uh, this is the output for the stage 2. So, uh, so these are the sample output of the stage 2, that is 8884000 minus 2.828 minus i 2.8. In stage 3, that is the 8 point DFT, in 8 point DFT, so we have to write the total factor in the lower end of the butterfly, that is the, we are going to draw the single butterfly, so that we have, uh, that is one line from the even line and one line from the odd line, that is, you have to place the total factor here, that is W08, W18, W28 and W38, so while writing the total factor, it should be the conjugate. So in stage 3, the total factor should be write, uh, written in the form of a conjugate, W08 value is 1 and W18, the W18 value is, you know that we have already discussed, that is W18 value is 0.707 minus I 0.707. So you have to take the conjugate of this, this plus value, so it is plus. And then W28, the W28 value is minus I. W28 value is minus I, the conjugate is plus I. Okay, that is plus I. And then for W38, the value is, the W38 value is minus 0 0.707 minus I 0 0.707. You have to take the conjugate of this, this one is this, plus 1. So for uh, W38 is 0 point, that is minus 0 0.707 plus I 0 0.707. Okay, you just multiply with this. So 0 into 1, 0, 0 into 1, that is a 0 into uh, 0 0.707 plus I 0 0.707, the value is 0. 0 into I, 0. And then for this, uh, you just multiply with this, that is a... Uh, in stage 2, that is we are going to draw the two butterfly, that is the one butterfly in the even lines and the other butterfly in the odd lines. That is, uh, to draw the butterfly, you have to take the alternate lines. The input for this 8, 0, the addition is 8, the subtraction is 8. And for this second uh, line, that is uh, the input is 6, 2, that is uh, 8 and Four. Similarly, you have to do it for the odd line 0, 0, 0, and then minus 1.414, and then uh, 1 plus 1.414 plus I 4.1.414, and that is 0, 
and then subtracting it, we will be getting 2 point minus 2.828 minus i 2.88. Then in stage 3, in stage 3, you have to take uh, you have to place the total factor at the lower end of the butterflies. That is the W08, 18, 28, and 38. So all the values should be the conjugate value. W08, the conjugate of W08 value is 1. W18, the conjugate value is that is 0 0.707 plus I 0 0.707. For W28, the conjugate value is I. For W38, the conjugate value is minus 0 0.707 plus I 0 0.707. You have to multiply it. So when you multiply this 0, when you multiply with the total factor 0, when you multiply with the total factor 0, when you multiply minus 2.828 minus this with the minus 0 0.707 plus i 0 0.7, it is 3.998 and it is almost equal to 4. Then how to do the stage 3? That is one line from the E1 line to another line from the odd line. Okay. So one line from the E1 line to another line from the odd. 8 and the 0. 8 plus 0, 8. 8 minus 0, 8. And similarly for the next line, that is one line from the E1, the another line from the odd. 8 and the 0, 8. And then 8 minus 0, 8. And for third line, 8 and 8. And for the fourth line, 4 and 4. 4 plus 4, 8. 4 minus 4, 0. So this is the uh, this is the final answer after the stage three. The last thing the students uh, that is you have to divide by the n number of samples. Here the final sequence you got is an eight 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 and the last sample is zero. So while writing the sequence you have to divide by one by n. The final answer is x of n is equal to one by n. So many of the students have forgot to do the division process. So finally, you have to divide by the n samples the obtained result is equal to that is x of 2. 1 by n is 8, 8, 8, 8. Final answer is x of n is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So in this way you have to take the id of t for the given sequence. So that is the one, the, the one way difference is you have to take the conjugate of the total factor, the remaining steps uh, to be followed. Uh, by using the DAT of T for DFT for the given sequence is the same. 